been a member of findagrave.com for years because it, it off and on throughout the last 10 years I've done nothing but tried to find out who in the world I belong to. Right Danny? Right. Uh, <laughs> find a grave is a wonderful tool because you can find some of the graves of your ancestors and you know there's other people that has worked their genealogy and some of them will contribute information to the particular uh, grave, the person. Um, so, with that being said, it's really a good tool for you to use when it comes to certain genealogical issues that you have. Um, but, and one of the issues on Find a Grave is that they don't have pictures of certain graves. So, Dan and I uh, went out today to take care of that little situation for, you know, a couple people. There was a cemetery that's about a mile away from us. Is it a mile? Yeah, it's more than a mile. I'd say two or three miles. Well, it's it's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Let's yeah. put it that way. That's how much a hop, skip, and a jump is. <laughs> um, we, you know, I just... I just thought that maybe we could start doing this because I've been signed up to be a uh, photo contributor for quite a long time and just have not taken advantage of it. There's a whole process to it, but it's very easy to get to become a you know someone who claims and fulfills picture requests for certain grave sites. We, I, I you know I'm I'm really excited about the whole deal. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go. This is going to be a little bit of a search, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're looking for them, guys. But. In memory of Private Paul R. Brewer, 56th Armored Infantry Battalion, October 28, 1918, Tennessee, February 24, 1945, Germany. Well, friends, we are in Newmarket, Tennessee, which is our hometown, and we are trying to find a few of these people, like I was telling you, uh, that are wanting pictures from Find a Grave online that I've been a member of for goodness years <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to to find these uh, because a lot of the the cemeteries are they're old they have some unmarked graves this one uh, I really don't know any of the history about 
So, if I get that history, I'll put that in below, or in below. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the description below. <laughs> Delcy. I like that name. Sorry, I had a ladybug on me. It scared me. But... So let's get to searching so we can try to find a picture for these people that have requested it. Uh, we may get lucky. It smells like roses out here, everywhere. Patterson. It smells so good. William and Emma Jane. The smell of roses is amazing guys and I don't see but these little flowers but it is so overpowering right now <laughs> where's she at right Miss Carolyn Rose we found another one where's she at right there oh that's her Miss Carolyn Rose And this is what I was afraid of. You see, guys? Sometimes they don't have pictures on these sites because there's an unmarked grave. You see that? 
Uh, it's actually marked. It's just it's so weather worn. You don't know who it is that's there. So that might be the case for our oldest Mr. and Mrs. Mills. We could get lucky. But unfortunately. I don't know. I feel like I'm standing right where I'm supposed to be. I really do. And there's nothing on that. But we do have this. Joseph Porter. We're not looking for Porter. But... Oops. Wooten and Gardner. And this is Get Tell Wooten. 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 Parrot. Okay. So here's some of the the old and then they've gotten some new it looks like got a lot of Wootens let's see who this is what kind of marker oh hmm. look how old this one is these are Wootens too This must be the, for the Wooten family. It's got, it is. It has a pretty design. Sorry guys, that tore me up. It could. If I die before you, will you make sure that you do this for me so that people can say that I found my marbles? <laughs> I know it's not funny. It is for me, but not for them. Is that not cool, guys? Check it out. This is interesting. Mr. and Mrs. King, look at the shells on theirs. Is that not interesting? I think it is. Right. All right. Well, Dan, I'm sweating. We have walked this entire cemetery. Even though it's little, there is a lot of people that are at rest here. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, graves that are unmarked, and there are some that are marked, but that's, their stones are so deteriorated that we can't get a name off of them so we had five people yeah we had six we had six people that we were supposed to try to find at this particular cemetery but we well we found two yeah so we hope that to help somebody out on find a grave so if you want to be somebody uh that goes and does the same thing this is our first time. <laughs> I got to check five moths. Um, go to findagrave.com, make you an account, and then you can get requests from people who are needed pictures in your neck of the woods. We have so many grave sites that are around us that it's uh, we've got a backlog of 99 requests. Mm. That's a lot. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time on Midlife Memo. Dan, is there anything else that you would like to say to the good people? No.
No. <laughs> Say goodbye, Dan. See you. Bye. <laughs>